Good morning. Welcome to Bailey's and Tea Saturday. As you hop on, say hello. I've got this weird glare going on this morning. I'm not sure what's going on here. Let me dim that a little. Might just be my phone. It looks like I have like a sun halo above my head. I'll get you up on the screen so we can chitty chat as you come on. I don't have my earbud in because I forgot to grab them. So hopefully you can hear me and my video is not picking up a webinar that I have going on on another device. Yeah, I've got this strange halo. I'm not sure what is going on here. It's very strange. Very, very weird. Hmm, I don't know how to fix it. Not sure why it's doing that. Doesn't normally do that, but cheers to the morning. You can hear me perfect. I'm not you're not picking up some weird background noise, Rhonda. I have a webinar going on in another device that I've kind of stuck far away so that it won't pick up the sound. Maybe it's back there. Oh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the angels are coming down this morning. So how are you? Oh good. Thanks, Rhonda, for letting me know that. All right, so is everybody having a good week? It feels kind of weird to be only on every second week now, but um, guys, I haven't been down here in two weeks, literally. Uh, work has been bonkers with spring break and Easter and the whole shebang. So I came down late last night. Hopefully I can wow you today <laughs> with what I created because literally it was last minute and probably about 10 minutes ago I decided what card we were going to do live together so you know that's it that's my life and that's how it goes so um this is a beauty can't show you anything else other than this and the back <laughs> um this beauty arrived yesterday um, Tuesday, my actual box of catalogs for um, giving out to all of you that want it um, arrived and I just have to process them and get them ready. So if you don't have a demonstrator already that you're getting a catalog from, you can contact me and I'll make sure to get them out in the mail this week because my mission today is to get all this ready and packaged, ready to go. Morning, Glenda! You didn't stay up too late and got and joined us. Perfect. Welcome. So... Yeah, so if you need a catalog, let me know because, oh my goodness, there's some beauties in there. And so I debated today whether using something that's going to retire or something new that I got. Um, so I processed everything yesterday because my, my pre-order did arrive and um, got all that organized. But then as I was sitting here at 11 o'clock last night trying to decide, they... Um, I kind of look through what's going, um, what I sort of hadn't used yet. I have a little bin that I pull from. And what spoke to me, because I don't know, maybe I was just in a little gnomey mood, we're going to play with friendly gnomes today. They are leaving us, unfortunately, and they are adorable, and I don't know why they're leaving, but, you know, we have many, many cute other little critters coming. So, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Um... So they'll be replaced by some other little cute things. So I will flip you around and you'll see the beautiful catalog as I get you set up. If you get kind of dizzy, then you can um, look away for two seconds while I get you set up. All right. And for some reason, I'm not quite sure why, I have flipped around my holder. All right, let's get you square here. All right, you should be good now. Yes, Glenda, mine came yesterday, my complimentary one. Stampin' Up! sends us out a complimentary one. My paper pumpkin arrived yesterday and my pre-order. So it was like Christmas. When I came home from work, I had a pile here on the desk. And oh my goodness, I was so excited. All right. So as I said, we're going to give the friendly gnomes a little play and, and then the gnome dice carried over from the holiday catalog because they matched up with this set. So they decided to carry those over, but now they're going to retire all of it. So if you have it in your collection, grab it and you can play along with me 
and or you can watch and of course um, do it in the replay later on and then pause and start where you need to to get measurements and stuff I'll do my best to get them for you as I said at the beginning there um, I created very last minute so it is what it is friends um, so it is a cling or sorry a polymer clear set and then of course all the dies match the little gnomes um, you can also build your own little gnome um, you've got a beard and nose you've got nose and and hands his little feet are right here um, this is his hat and then you've got some grasses um, these look like um, these are mushroom tops but they look like little gumdrops I think I used them at Christmas time and showed you something I think it was a little treat bag that had these using it as the gumdrops and then of course you've got the stems if you want a tall mushroom or a short mushroom and it pairs up really well with the um, happier than happy designer paper which you'll see on one of the cards that I made I used it it has a really neat mushroom paper in that set and um, it will retire as well but um, if you have it it pairs up really nice with it, this so we're gonna make very cute and easy card it's not um, anything too complicated and I do have some other samples to show you so here's the little card that I created isn't it cute I'll hold it up so you can see it <clears throat> Isn't that cute? So not, not a lot of parts to it. Oops, my inside's got something on it, but that's fine. I'm not doing the inside with you. You all know to finish your insides and finish your envelope so that it all looks pretty when you put it in the mail and the post office person is very happy to deliver it for you. So we've got our card base. It's eight and a half by 11. Or no, it's not. <laughs> my goodness, you guys. We're off to a great start it's um five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter apparently i stayed up too late <laughs> oh my goodness hey eh? let me find my little piece of paper so i actually say what i'm reading then i've got a piece of crumb cake cardstock that's two by four and a quarter <laughs> right you have a chuckle at me rhonda um that I run through an embossing folder, the timber embossing folder, so you kind of get that wood grained look. Hang on, I gotta get back up here a minute so I can actually see what I'm showing you. And um, we're going to make that into a banner. And then I've got the sentimental, no, Regency Park paper, I think it's called. Let me just grab it. I didn't write that name down. Yes, Regency Park Designer Series paper. I've grabbed some scraps out of that, and this is um, a one by two strip that's just gonna go at the top. We're of course gonna use our linen thread, and we're gonna do a bit of coloring with our blends. So, first off, I've stamped the greeting. There's Noom One Better Than You, just on some basic white. And I've mentioned a few times that I'm having some problems with my memento. So I pre-stamped this so it has time to dry before we blend. Um, I find sometimes it's it'll run as you're doing your blending. So I've just been adopting the habit of pre-stamping and sort of letting it sit. So I've got my balmy blue blend in light and we're just gonna color the bird really quick. I know you all know how to color so it's not too much of me telling you what to do. Sorry, I got runny nose now that I've gone live, right? Does this that happen to everybody? Go on video and you get runny nose. So what's everyone been up to the last couple weeks here that I've missed you? I know some of you are demos that watch me, so I'm sure you've been anxiously awaiting your pre-orders and catalogs to arrive. I did a big order and then I mainly with all the color refresh colors that we got. So we have that coming down the pipe and then it's Then I had to pick what sets I was gonna get. And it was hard. I mean, we are limited, so that kind of helped, but um, 
it was still hard. So then as I watched other people's videos of what they got, I of course put in a second order things that I was like, hmm, I'm not really sure. But now I love them, so I need them. So I've got another order coming next week. <laughs> so I've just used the light and the dark to shade. And then I took my um, color lifter and I just kind of lightened up the hat a little bit. It kind of, you'll see on this one, like it sort of just kind of gives it a sort of textured worn kind of look. Hope I held that in the right spot. Then I'm gonna grab my um, Light Daffodil Delight, color the inside of my flower and sort of the bottom little hem of the dress, the shirt, whatever. It might be a shirt because the gnome, you know, is not very tall. And then I'm going to use the dark balmy blue to color her dress. And then if you notice, I have given her strawberry blonde hair that she's sort of going to mimic me. I'm a little gnome today. <laughs> so I'll show you how I did that in just two seconds. I have to concentrate here because this is a very small area to um, color in. And I don't want to go outside the lines. Okay, there we go. Oops, I didn't grab my SU-1000. We can color bookmarks right now. Yes, like it's taken over my life yesterday. It was it was probably two hours when I got home from work. I had all my labels pre-done. I had like everything was pre-ready for me to just stick on to items. And so I kind of got all that ready while I was waiting for my order to arrive. So that definitely cut down on the time that I didn't have to do that while the order was here, which was smart thinking on my part. What am I doing here? Oh, okay. So for her hair, I'm using um, light Calypso Coral. But yes, I gotta do all that stuff today too. Same as you, Glenda. Get those catalog party packs ready to go. But that's the fun part of when the new catalog, it gets a little kind of hectic and chaotic for us demonstrators. But that's because we like to wow you guys with everything that comes with the catalog. And so we put a lot of time and effort into getting all those fun little freebie things that we send you. And so I just took the Daffodil Delight. And it takes a few minutes to show. It'll kind of just hold up. It kind of highlights a little bit of the yellow into that um, Calypso Coral so that... It kind of looks like she has strawberry blonde hair, like me. <laughs> and then I'll just color the flower here real quick. And then I'm just gonna fussy cut so I don't have to go off camera to um, use the dye, but there is a dye that matches with that. And I just have to, before we trip on our project, I know, I hear you, Glenda. So many things to do, so little time. My mission today is to get caught up. So, as you've noticed, I have been a little quiet <laughs> over the last two weeks because it's been so chaotic for me. Um, I do have to run off to work when I finish here with you guys for a few minutes, but then my mission today is to get caught up, get some posting out there for you guys so that you know what's going on. And I do apologize and I appreciate that you are very patient with me while I navigate this new nighttime work schedule again is what the problem is. As you know, um, last time we were together, I mentioned I had gone back to a building that I used to do six days a week. So um, that's kind of where I've been the last two weeks. It's a been a bit of an adjustment, but I think we're on track now and I've got the building under control from the last company. So um, it's taking me a little less 
time each night to get through it because I'm not having to do a bunch of extra work. So as you can see, it's really easy to fussy cut this too, but if you don't enjoy that, like I say, the dies are something you may want to pick up so that you don't have to. And then I'm just going to fussy cut around my sentiment. So you'll see, I didn't really, you know, um, have a pattern or anything like that. I just kind of went around it. It wasn't anything too fancy. Just kind of rounded out the edges as I went around the words. Just like this. So yeah, it's a nice, easy, simple little card to mass produce. Use up those, you know, those little one inch by two inch scrap pieces that you have lying around that you don't know what to do with. And then we're going to take our um, imbo timber embossed piece of paper and we're going to make a little banner. So we're going to snip right up the middle and then we're going to meet that snip from the edges. And I didn't really do that very well, but you get the idea. <laughs> I'm kind of off. My center's off there. Let's just fix this here. There we go. I don't know that that's better, but we'll go with it. Okay, get that little snippy off. And then we'll grab the seal and we'll apply our little strip of paper to the top. So this is a quick, easy card to mass produce. <laughs> you like the strawberry blonde hair on my gnome? Sometimes I like to be cheeky. So we've got our little banner, nice and cute, right? And then we'll grab our linen thread. You know, this is a staple that you must have in your craft room because I say so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. See? Cheeky. Wrap that around a couple times. And then tie it in a bow. So I just kind of use my finger to hold that down. Maybe. Apparently my fingers don't want to work today. I'm going to tie it in a knot. They don't want to work today. So I just hold the middle down and then double knot it and then it'll stay in place. If you kind of got it flinging around there, you can put a glue dot under it, hold it where you want it, or a little dot of a Tombow. And then we'll cut off our tails. Just like that. Okay, so we've got all our little parts built and then I wanna grab my crumb cake marker and I think it's getting kind of dry. So hopefully I'm gonna get some splatter out of it. So you're gonna grab your brush end and you're just gonna splatter. Oh, tonight, is, today it's working. Last night I was struggling. Maybe I was just tired and not using it properly. So we're just doing a quick splatter over the front. We'll give that a second to dry and then we'll build this while I have a sip of tea. Okay, so um, for this one, I did a flat lay to the card, but this one I think I'm going to put on dimensionals just to be different. And some of the other samples I'm gonna show you are so cute. So remember uh, to like the Facebook page. You can give me some hearts and emojis and all that fun stuff if you're enjoying the video. Um, make sure you go on to YouTube and subscribe there because I do post these videos over there. If someone by chance tells you that I'm on Facebook and you are not, YouTube is the other place to find me. I need the dimensionals still. I'm not sure why I put them away. And share it with somebody you think has this set and kind of needs some inspiration on how to use it. And then we're going to take the sentiment, put a couple short, or sorry, mini dimensionals on the sides and then a big one in the middle. 
and then this is just going to tuck sort of up on the line of your linen thread there just like that and then the little bird I just stood him on or her whichever onto the sentiment so just like that make sure I'm in frame as my screen catches up here cute right and then we've got to put some embellishments on so I grabbed my um, pastel adhesive sequins and my glossy assortment dots which are both carrying over into the new catalog which is awesome because I don't think I've used these enough and I know I should be using my take your pick tool because I always tell you to use that as my scissors are right beside my hand <laughs> that's my excuse I'm sticking to it <laughs> All right, and you know how I like to to mix up my um, my embellishments. I encourage it, so I will just put some large sequins here and one small. And always do your embellishments in odd numbers, so threes, fives, sevens, because it just looks more appealing to the eye. So there we go with it, some bling on it. Sorry, I just made the camera jump. Isn't that cute? I love it, it's adorable. Okay, so let me get this stuff just cleared away so I can bring in the extras. So while I was here last night and creating, I thought I should make a little box to put all these cute little cards in and it can be a little gift. Um, Mother's Day is coming, so if you've got a grandparent or a mother that's still around or an aunt or somebody that's just a mother figure, this would be a cute little idea to um, make a little gift or a card box and then have the little gnome on it. I made this a birthday box, but you could easily put um, a Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day sentiment on it or something like that. I'll just hold it up a little closer. So these boxes are going to leave us, unfortunately. Um, from this catalog when it goes away in May. Um, so if you like to give like gift boxes of cards and stuff like that, I would suggest stocking up on these because you won't have them anymore. And we don't have the clear ones anymore. So you're kind of limited and there's not a whole lot of selection in the new catalog of packaging materials, which I'm very disappointed about because you know I love packaging stuff. So I'll have to come up with some more alternatives. But it's just a cute little box and then on the inside it's just got a piece of designer paper so if you need to use up that paper i just basically line the bottom with a piece of paper that matches the front so nice and easy and i won't fiddle around with this too much but your cards can just fit into that little box nice and easy so what started my play with these um, cards was at our big team meeting a couple weeks ago we did sort of a roll the dice game and then you had to add the elements that the dice rolled um, this one I've kind of modified a little bit because we weren't allowed to color anything so I did this is the card I made but think of it with no color on the flowers and no color on the gnomes except for his heart was colored um, because we were allowed a freebie and that was my freebie was to color the heart um, so this card started my exploration today with the gnomes because <laughs> it was sitting on my desk and I went oh my gosh I just played with the gnomes so this turned out cute once I could color it it was even cuter than it was before um, so that was one that we just sort of threw together with a roll of the dice and we um, were left with that this is the one that I'm talking about the happier than happy um, mushroom paper that is so cute and then one of the new embossing folders from the basic 3D folders. I'm not sure, they're from the online exclusive uh, items and I'm not sure that they're available right at the moment. I'm sorry I didn't jump in and check that beforehand, but basically right now online, if you are shopping in my online store, you um, just wanna go in there. I, to send you a list and to tell you what's not available is it's very very long things are flying off the shelves so it's easier just to go into the store look around and if it says unavailable it probably means that um, it's not coming back if you're unsure check with me of course and I'll let you know but um, 
just go on the basis of if, if you can't put that order number in that it's it's gone so um the, what's your question what's the curvy circle die this one here Rhonda um I think it's a punch let me just <laughs> this was like a month ago Rhonda um yes it's a punch so we had a punch um option so it's the decorative circle punch it's 159174 and it is carrying over into the new catalog so it's super cute I like that one I had never I hadn't used it in quite a long time so when that came up I um I grabbed it so this is just a cute this is using little scraps so I have little baggies of scraps I think I've told you that and I have little bowls of scraps I go in there when I'm looking for something and then I kind of just create I got to use up my little baggies and bowls so um, so I just created this quick and easy little card um, featured sort of in the colorings of the paper because I wanted to use that up as well and then just some cute little embellishments simple and easy and then that's that um, petal pink suede trim I think it was called that will be going um, this is another one using that happier than happy paper and then there's a little mushroom little mushroom house in that um, stamp set so I just used that and then this returning rings of nature embossing folder and suite of products that we had in the holiday mini is coming back so I wanted to drag that out and use that as well oh well, thanks Glenda I'm glad you like the samples um, and then it's using up your designer paper. So I thought this is cute to do gnome sweet gnome um, in the little gnome house. And then if you remember the pebbles, I had some of those. I know they're retired. Sorry, I'm off camera here. Let me catch up here. I just made a little path. So the um, stamp set actually has the little pebble walkway in front of it when you stamp it. But I cut that off when I cut out the mushroom. So I thought I'll just replace that with the little pebble elements that we had I think those are totally gone now I think the sea glass ones got left behind which are gorgeous but they're leaving and we have these gorgeous new sea sets and you know water and and they took away the sea glass elements like what the heck but whatever keep them use them be happy everyone um, let me get this in the right spot so this is using the awash and beauty paper and so I just started with the background and kind of built it um, from there I don't know why here we go there we go I'm too close to the camera sorry um, sort of built my colorings off of the paper and then I added some lots of birds in there so the birds were kind of my embellishments so I did those in threes and then this was just a piece that was in my little scrap bag that I wanted to use up and so it says spring is everywhere and just did the little gnome and the little um what is he a squirrel and then just added some grass elements popped up a little bit you can't really see on the camera but um so that's super cute using up paper more paper we got to use our paper I'm trying trying to set an example for you all not to hoard it like I do <laughs> to use it <laughs> So that's all the samples and then these could easily just you know pack up go in your little box and then you can gift them to somebody i don't know if i throw that one in there i might keep that one for myself but um i think you can get like five or six cards in here depending on how um dimensionalized you made them right and then they all pack up in there and you can send them off to whoever you want as a birthday or mother's day or whatever put your bow back on i won't mess around with that but um yeah that's what I got for you this morning, friends. So um, I did post up the, this is the um, last paper pumpkin, but I posted up the new one. So you'll see that. Oh, I can't even remember what it's called. It's like a water coloring one. It's gorgeous. Um, this was last month's and I'm not sure if there's um, refills available yet because this just came yesterday. So they kind of do the first round of things and then they um, post whether or not the refills are available so I'll put some of these together so that I can show you those um, and then yeah if you don't have the friendly gnomes and the dye actually I don't even know if the dyes are available you guys I'm sorry um, I have to go on there and look <laughs> I have to just get to business around here right is that what you guys are screaming at me um, so have a look at the gnomes and order those up if you really love them and want them and want to keep them around to use them I still have the um, or no, I didn't get the Christmas set because the Christmas ones were weird. <laughs> I have an older set that they're more cute. But um, 
it'll carry you through into the spring and stuff like that. Um, check back on Wednesday at 11 on my Facebook page, uh, 11.30 on, pin, or on Instagram if you're on there. And I will have extra samples using the gnomes. And then next, no, not next week, sorry, the week after the 29th, I'm going to start creating ideas for Mother's Day gifts. So that is my next uh, plan of attack. And then Saturday is scrapbook. Or no, Sunday, sorry, getting my days mixed up. Tomorrow <laughs> is scrapbook Sunday. So I'll be sharing a scrapbook page that I made with these cute little gnomes and some uh, retired celebration paper and some paper that's going out. So I'm using up lots of my paper. Um, this challenge of scrapbooking every month with a layout idea is um, helping me use up lots and lots of designer paper. So that's it, my friends. Thank you so much for dropping in to hang out with me. If you like what you see and want to share it, you go right ahead. Send me those hearts and thumbs up and happy face and sad face if you want. Emojis that you're sad the gnomes are leaving. Um, and um, I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. And I will see you soon. I am always available. So if you have questions or anything like that, um, just send me a quick message. And I'm happy to answer or look up what you're looking for. If it's a product that you can't find online, I will definitely answer what's going on with that product. All right, everyone, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Paper hugs. <laughs>